live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another Be Real with D-Real, where edutainment is what I do. We about to do some major talking about Jonathan Majors, because a lot of people jump to major conclusions when it came to Jonathan Majors. But before we get off into that, what y'all always do for your men's and them. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to Be Real with D-Real Pay so the window material comes out. You get it. If you're digging with a brother shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. This one right here. All right. Now, to give this situation the necessary amount of clarity, I'm going to have to go to a news article. Okay. Um, I am going to go to a more recent news article, which talks about changing developments and does not dwell on the primary cause of all of this gossip and rhetoric. Okay? Let's do that right now. Excuse all that shazamming. Um, but uh, here we go. That right there, you looking at that article, Jonathan Major. Call 911 over girlfriend concerns prior to arrest. Word? Jonathan Majors called 911? Maybe it's important to get all the facts and key elements of a situation before you go popping off, mouthing off, gossiping a guy about it. Everybody want to be the first person to drop the story. So we just go out half cock. Ooh, look what happened to Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Call 911. Let's look into that. Shall we? Okay, here we go. New information about the arrest of Marvel star Jonathan Major surfaced relating to who actually called 911. Majors who knew the movie, y'all know all that. Blah, 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 blah. Was arrested under the accusation of assault the morning of. Saturday, March 25th, in a Chelsea, New York apartment. The actor's lawyer claimed Majors is completely innocent and is provably, provably the victim. Mm, provably. I know that was a word. Okay, provably the victim. However, the allegations against the star still stand. Okay. According to a new report, Jonathan Majors called 911 over concerns about his girlfriend prior to to his arrest for alleged assault. I like the way that Kleinfeld wrote that, okay? Alleged assault has not been proven. New York police sources told ABC the actor called 911 because of his concern for his girlfriend. He called 911 because he was concerned for his girlfriend. Police allegedly, allegedly, that name, that word is going to pop up a bit, or uh, a synonym. We're told a different story upon arrival at the apartment with Major's girlfriend, saying that the actor attacked her in a cab while the two were on their way home from a Brooklyn bar. New York City police officially reported that Major was involved in a domestic dispute in a cab <laughs> with a 30-year-old woman writing in a statement that the victim informed police she was assaulted. Up on arrival, authorities noted evident marks on her body and then placed the actor under arrest, which is what you're supposed to do, which is what happens if, if, if even if they punch themselves. Initial reports mentioned the actor had been accused of strangulation, assault, and harassment. Hmm. This information comes as a major advertising campaign for the U.S. Army feature and majors was pulled because of the allegations. Word of vicious, cruel, abusive behavior from the star has been brought up in the past. A sentiment that is getting passed around again with the actor's arrest. The direct will continue to share new updates on the situation as it becomes available. Let's look at another article. And, and, and let's look at one of the major things that's bothering y'all. Hmm. Ah, look here. That's March 27th. That's the day, too. Okay? 
courtesy of uh, your web by Nye McGee. Jonathan Major's girlfriend recants assault allegations after having emotional crisis. Huh. Okay. Okay. Let's read. Let's read. Jonathan Major's lawyer has issued a statement about the actor's arrest allegedly assaulted for allegedly assaulting a white woman. She, her name ain't being released, so I don't think, well, they could have said woman. But anyway, you, you see the slant this article is painting already, good and bad. The alleged victim is reportedly Major's girlfriend. Initial reports claim she became irate after discovering text messages on his phone from another woman. Let me say this real quick. There is only one reason why you should put your hands on another person. And that is if they put their hands on you first. But he cheated on me. That's not an excuse to put your hands on him. He wouldn't give me my this back. He wouldn't give me my that back. That is not a reason for you to put your hand on him or her. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean that across the board. I ain't caping for him. I'm just pointing out some very glaring things that should be that should be obvious without me having to point them out, okay? Um, maybe it's just because I, I, I'm a little older than most of y'all watching this video, and I understand that a lot of times, or 99% of the time, most people who get in trouble with the law are guilty until, until proven innocent. Shouldn't be like that, Jack. Let's move on. According to TMZ, she confronted him while peeking at his phone. The woman claimed Major grabbed her hand, slapped her, and choked her. This prompted them to go their separate ways, and she reported the incident to the police the next day. As we reported previously, Majors was booked Saturday morning on charges of strangulation, assault, and harassment. Police are reportedly protecting the girlfriend's identity by not releasing her name, but social media sleuths claim she is a choreographer named Grace Jabari. I wonder what would happen if I hit that link or hit that name. Well, looky there. Grace Jabari is known for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Well, that's Grace Jabari, y'all. Y'all want to get a good look at her. Okay, that, that, that what we're working with. Okay, that being said. Okay. The attorney for the Creed Three Star insists that his client is innocent and expects all charges will be dropped imminently in his assault case. People reports. Priya Chowdhury. Major's criminal defense attorney, aw, snap, I like that, said in a statement that the movie star is completely innocent and is probably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. Not his girlfriend, with a woman he knows. But why would you strangle a woman you know? Or, or, or just a woman you know? I don't know. Let's move on. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped. That's what she said. That's what she's saying. This evidence includes a video footage from the video, from the vehicle, excuse me, where this episode took place. Uh, Rodney King had video footage. <laughs> Witness testimony from the driver and others who saw, who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting these allegations. I think that's a good place to jump off. 
<laughs> um, now, here's the thing. Because we're so anxious to, 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 to break a story, to drop a story, to be the first one to tell somebody, ooh, hey, y'all know what? You know, that we don't get all the facts. My boy, Big Nub, who, who I love dearly, is, 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 is very good for keeping me up on fact check, okay? And telling me to check all the facts from both sides, okay? When you go out and just start some unwarranted, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, Jonathan Majors choked his girlfriend, beat her up. He, he, he's an abuser. Gossip. You're gossiping. Okay? Don't, don't do that, y'all. Wait until everything comes out. And I knew everybody, been, it been some folks on Twitter, they've been lighting Twitter up talking about Ezra Miller. Where was all to take your time and blah, blah, blah. because again, video footage. It should be able to incriminate you, just like it should be able to exonerate you. It's up to people to know the difference which one it's doing. If I got you on video choking somebody out, that's called evidence. If people done gave reports about you in their house making terroristic threats, that's evidence. What evidence we got on Jonathan Majors other than what she said, but apparently has recanted pending paperwork. Oh, and here's another one. Here's another one while I'm thinking about it. What damn difference does it make what color this woman is? I'll wait. What difference does it make? Okay, if Jonathan Majors had slap choked and did whatever to a black woman, to an Asian woman, to any kind of woman other than a white woman, would y'all have reacted the same way? Nah. I hear messing with these with these Becky. I hear messing with the white women. That's what you get. I can't tell you how many memes, how many texts, how many comments, how many statements I done seen everybody talking about, and, and, and I ain't going to say what the demographic is that's saying it, but they saying it a lot. Okay. Jonathan Majors made the decision to date that woman. That woman didn't put no voodoo. She didn't drop no dust in his spaghetti. She didn't put no drawers, bury him out in the yard. It wasn't none of that, okay? It's, it's mutual, and it looked like they are quite happy, okay? What in the fuck does anybody else have to say about that? If they are happy, Mind your business. I get it. He's a several, he's a celebrity. He's putting his life in the spotlight. Okay. But there are questions. There's a question of who initiated the aggression. You can't fucking smack me and then say I assaulted you when I when I backhand your ass. You can't do that. So on top of that. His army, whatever bags he had going on with the U.S. Army, that that messed this up, okay? So now you in some bullshit with somebody fucking up your bags. I don't give a rat's ass what color she is. If she's fucking up the bags, she got to go, period. Ain't got nothing to do with the fact she's white. Ain't got nothing to do with the fact she's a woman. Ain't got nothing to do with none of that. If you fucking up my bags and my name is Jonathan Majors, you got to go. Period. That's all that is. And all these people out here talking about this white woman is and that's what he get and blah, blah, blah. You thirsty ass heifers was right there when he was sitting there with that cut up body getting ready for Creed. Shut up. Stop it. Quit. Be grown for once in your damn life. 
It ain't got to be about all of this hateful shit, okay? Sounds like a lot of people, number one, need to get over grudges and stop dissing men for your shitty ass tasting men. Okay, if you couldn't pick one, if you pick one that beat you up, if you pick one up, one that cheated on you, if you pick one that 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 was on the down low with you, that is your poor choice in men. Same thing with Jonathan Majors. You got a woman calling the police on you. That ain't no ride or die. That ain't the one you lock down. That ain't the one you put a ring on. Not not one to snitch to the to the police about you. Because if she's snitching, so if she's snitching to the police about you and she ain't got none of your money in her pocket, she ain't entitled to none of your money. What do you think she gonna do if you put a ring on? Any woman put a ring on it. That's what they gonna do. And let me say this, y'all. A domestic dispute is a domestic dispute, no matter what damn color the parties are. If a woman, if a black woman get on the phone and say, that man hit me, they come to arrest him. If a white woman get on the phone and say, that man hit me, they come to arrest him. If an Asian woman get on the phone and say, that man hit me, they come to arrest him. That nothing to do with the color of that woman's skin. Stop the fucking cap, y'all. Ain't got nothing to do with that. And his choice in women is his choice in women. Not yours. We got so much lip service and so much talking and so many things we want to say because we the upright citizens brigade and we the culture police and all that type shit. Shut up. You don't need to do all of that. You really, I apologize if I'm coming off as rude, but it gets under my skin the, it's ignorant, okay? Period, point blank. My wife is of mixed lineage. I dare somebody to fucking say I'm less black. I dare you. I got bars for your ass if you think I'm less black, Okay? Pro-black don't mean anti-white or anti-anything. You can be for and about and with and cape for the cause of all things black and you can have an Asian wife. You can have a, a, an indigenous wife. You, you can have an aborigine wife. I mean... Black is black is black is black. I get that. And I'm not taking anything away from that. And I'm not downplaying it. And I'm not downgrading it. I'm just saying, if you are a black person and you've ever been the victim of prejudice, if you've ever been the victim of discrimination, if you've ever been the victim of racism, you know what the fuck that feels like. Don't visit that on nobody else. In media form, directly or indirectly. Racism is some ugly shit that needs to go. And I might be mad at a lot of, I, if I'm mad at a white person, I'm mad at a white person for what a white person did to me directly. I might be incensed about social issues. I might have conversation about social issues, but I ain't telling nobody they less black for any choices they made, especially if I don't know them personally. Y'all are too caught up being Twitter stars and, and being able to say some stuff about somebody that you don't ever stop and think, think whether or not you should. If that was you, you want my speculating. I know you can't stop people, but do you want that? If you don't want that, don't visit that on anybody because that's bullshit, y'all. You don't know. You don't know Jonathan Majors personally. You don't know that white woman personally. She might have been raised by black people. You don't know. That's all I'm saying, man. Before y'all jump to conclusions, before y'all start saying hurtful, foul things about people, do your research. 
I ain't saying nobody is or isn't anything. He could, he very well could be an abuser. He very well could hate his own flesh. But we don't know that for a fact. And you can't glean that shit from a picture. I've seen people saw the picture and looked at the picture. Mm. Mm. Stop it. Stop. You don't know how much money he gives to the United Negro College Fund. You don't know how much money he gives to UNC, his alma mater, HBCUs. You don't know that. You just assuming he ain't down. You'll know what he's down for. Probably dealing with folks like y'all that's always saying shit like that make him not want to because he feel like he can't. Stop it. That's all I'm going to say. When you point fingers at people, all that's pointing back at you, fam. Look, I said my piece. Y'all got issues with it? Drop it in the comments. I'm done. But fret not, I'll be coming at y'all with another one of the mother ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.